Yeah, and I was looking at the weather forecast. Now you have to remember that that part of Florida right there at the Kennedy Space Center has had nonstop rain mm -hmm, for the past right. couple of days. I'm talking record breaking amounts of rain move through. So they're hoping for a break in the rain by this afternoon, and it looks like about a 60% chance of this actually being a go, but still that is not exactly great. They have a whole team of meteorologists who will be right there on hand and they can call off the launch right up until the final few moments before due to weather. So they're saying that even if there are winds up to 30 miles per hour, 160 feet above Earth, that would cancel the launch. And of course, if they get some thunderstorms bubbling up over that area and with the, that includes lightning, that will also scrub the launch. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Trying to predict thunderstorms in Florida this time of year is like trying to predict when a bubble would pop up over boiling water. It's nearly impossible. It's just sort of a go time decision and we'll see what happens. Again, they'll have another opportunity this weekend if they do decide to cancel it today. Downtown San Diego clouds are in the mix this morning. We're living up to that May gray here. Uh, looks like we do have one boat out in the water and taking an early morning cruise around San Diego Bay. And there's the star of India off in the distance. 65 degrees right now at the airport winds out of the northwest at three miles per hour. Here are your forecasted high temperatures today. Low to mid 70s at the beaches, upper 80s inland. So it's a big temperature difference from the coastline through the inland valley communities. 90 in Julian, really hot in the desert. 108 in Borrego today. It'll be about 111 in Palm Springs. I was just looking at that forecasted high temperature. An excessive heat warning is in place in our desert until 7 p.m. on Friday. So just know it's going to be really hot. Let's take a quick look at that eight day. Temperatures cooling off each and every day through Friday. In fact, our inland locations will be back to the upper 70s by Friday. That's actually at or slightly below seasonal averages. 90 in the mountains today. Hot in the desert. It'll be a little cooler by Saturday.